Some critics claim that there are some grammatical errors in the language structure of the Quran. Yeah. How they are mistaken? They're actually pretty deeply mistaken. Um, this, this claim that the Quran has grammatical mistakes has no historical precedent. Why doesn't it? Because the Arabs themselves before Islam, they were not a people of literature. These were, you know, Bedouin Arabs that lived in tents and, you know, they, they, you know, uh, uh, villages that had, you know, didn't have brick construction and things like that. And they were a Bedouin people. They weren't a people of civilization and of literature and of like universities and libraries. Islam brought victory to these people both, you know, uh, socially and even politically and militarily. And it's the world of Islam expands, and now all of a sudden Persians are Muslims, and a good number of Romans are Muslims, and Abyssinians are Muslims. And these are civilizations of universities and libraries and things like that. And they now want to learn Islam because that's the language of the religion they've just accepted. When they want to learn Islam, there's a movement to compile and codify Arabic grammar. In other words, the Arabs of ancient times didn't codify it, it came to them naturally. They didn't, they, you know, they didn't sit there and learn sentence structure and this is appropriate verb conjugation and things like that. They didn't because this was their mother tongue. Mm. Actually, we learn historically for a child to learn uh, eloquent speech. You know how you say, I want to teach my, chil my children good English, I'm going to send them to a good school. Mm. The Arabs would do the exact opposite. Leave the city, go out in the deeper desert, and there you'll learn better language because it's even more pristine and more pure. So there was, there was a more uh, organic kind of organiz you know, uh, education that took place in the Arab world. But when, the, when Islam expands, and grammar is being codified not for Arabs, but for non-Arabs, and actually non-Arabs were at the forefront of the codification of Arabic grammar, what did they look at as the standard by which Arabic grammar should be codified? They actually looked at the Qur'an, this document, this single document that transformed an entire society and eventually multinational civilization. Um, they looked at that as the basis of deriving grammar. So now centuries later when somebody comes along, and this has happened in recent times, somebody comes along and says, the Qur'an has grammatical mistakes. Well that kind of historically doesn't make any sense because grammar itself was codified based on the principles of the Qur'an which was considered unanimously as the peak of eloquence, the highest point of literature in, in Arabic language. And this is not something just acknowledged by Muslims, but you know, Arab Christians have been around for a long time. And even they, when they talk about, you know, the highest form of language, they speak of the Qur'an historically. And in more recent times, the antagonism and the political climate of the world and all of that, that rhetoric has come into play and these kinds of arguments have come up. So they have other agendas behind them. It's not a genuinely academic agenda. But that it is certainly the case that, you know, the, 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 what is alleged to be grammatical errors in the Qur'an, number one, they don't have historical basis. And very briefly, number two, is that, these criticisms are based on standard Arabic and we made I earlier on I said there's standard Arabic and there's classical Arabic the ancient Arabic of the desert the Quran is in ancient Arabic and one of the differences between that and standard Arabic is that the grammar back then is far more complex and more involved and has much more nuances than standard Arabic people study standard Arabic these so-called scholars of Islamic studies are studying uh, um, standard Arabic in Western universities and now they're making grammatical criticisms of a body of literature that is uh, codified in classical Arabic. So it actually exposes their lack of knowledge of classical Arabic when they speak in these terms.